Hey everybody, doing a quick tutorial on how you can get DJs to help you maximize your streams. Hey everybody, this you got DJ OG1, official Portland Trailblazer DJ, but also CEO and coach of Lead Entertainment. Today I'm here to talk about supporting artists in their streams from a DJ's perspective. And so one of the things that I found uh, as I've been, you know, supporting independent artists is that a lot of times, you know, especially now that every artist can, you know, get their stuff put on streaming platforms and things like that. And it's a big deal to get uh, streams, uh, counts and, and et cetera, et cetera. One of the things I did notice, though, that as artists are posting their uh, music on uh, streaming platforms, that a lot of them just post the explicit versions of their music. And that's fine and dandy, but I think that from a DJ perspective, particularly because of the next information I'm about to show, uh, talk to you about, that artists are really uh, kicking themselves in the face by not taking advantage of this. And what do I mean? Putting clean edits of your music, putting instrumental versions of your music up on the digital platforms. And why do I say that? Because especially, so it's, it's not a secret that pretty much industry standard is Serato, that most DJs, whether you're radio DJs, whether you're club DJ, uh, DJs like me, they do it all. And, you know, I do special events and I'm in the, you know, of course, the arena for the NBA. So a lot of times, you know, I get music and yes, I can play music, independent music, and you can send it to me clean at it and everything like that. And I can play it in the arena and I can maybe snap, you know, videos of playing your music in the arena. But to me, it's not really maximizing your music. Unless it's able to count, whether it's through BDS or by streaming. So what's so cool now is that Serato has partnered with uh, Tidal. It's partnered with um, SoundCloud, where now I, as a DJ, can actually create a playlist within those digital platforms that your music is played on. And I actually can play it in my set via stream, particularly, you know, of course, the Wi-Fi and everything is, is, is solid, but I have that option. So what does that do? That maximizes your exposure in terms of wherever I play it at, in terms of location, venues, or, or whatever, radio, but it also maximizes your stream because that means I'm no longer just playing the uh, MP3 version of your song, but now you're getting that stream credit because I'm playing it through those streaming platforms. So again, it's to your advantage, artists, labels or whatever, to one, make those clean edits available on those streaming platforms, make instrumental versions of, of the album or whatever for producers or whatever that can be accessed by DJs in various platforms. Again, I myself, I, if I want to play a song, it would, one of the things that sucks is that if I think a song is really dope that I might have ran across on Tidal or whatever or Spotify and I want to play it, then if it doesn't have a clean version on it on some of the platforms that I'm in, particularly like NBA, when I'm doing pregame or I'm doing timeouts or you know I'm doing halftime and I want to play an artist that I heard, they don't have a radio edit of it. You know, I go to pull it up on, you know, uh, Tidal or SoundCloud and there's no radio version of it. Then one, I can't play it and you don't get a streaming credit for it. So again, artists, labels, make your songs and your music available also in clean radio edits. And I'm going to emphasize, if you're going to do that, make sure that it's the cleanest version of it you know, as you can, because I've had some people, they interpret it, you know, their clean edit, as you can still have words like ass and shit in it. And guess what? 
that doesn't fly. And it actually puts DJs in a bad position depending on where they're playing your music, whether it's in the arena or whatever. And it puts them in a bad position where now they have to second guess whether or not they can play industry uh, or independent music because they don't know if you did your due diligence of making sure that it was a clean, clean edit. If that makes sense, hopefully that, that helps you again, artists and labels. Make clean edits of your music, make it available on those digital platforms so DJs can maximize the exposure in your streams by being able to play it through those streaming platforms. Shout out to Serato, shout out to SoundCloud for partnering with, uh, with Serato. Also, BeatSource uh, for uh, partnering with uh, uh, Serato as well, to, again, to give DJs access to those platforms. So now, again, uh, I, Serato and all y'all, I, I need y'all to write me that check, you know, because I'm helping y'all out, I'm giving y'all a plug too. So again, DJ OG1, uh, just giving you some information that hopefully is helpful to you. If you like what you uh, you heard today, make sure you like and subscribe. I uh, appreciate all of your support, and hopefully uh, I'll be able to continue to support you as artists and musicians and producers in the platforms that I have. Peace.